Well, hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Neil Johnson, Neil of the North, and this is our elk hunt from Montana last year. I was able to go with my middle son, Jeremiah, and we had the time of our life. Seriously. I mean, it was a blast. So we started rolling out there and we stopped in the little town of Wabo, Montana, and there was a coffee shop and a hardware store. It's kind of a cool little thing we threw in there. And then we got into Gigi scoping some elk as soon as we got into the Little Belts. Beautiful big herd bull. And then it just kind of moved along. We were on elk every single day. Not all of them did we get on film. Um, I mean, the first morning out, we were on just a massive herd bull and it just all happened so fast. I didn't even think, I didn't even think the bull, I didn't think it was real. It sounded too plasticky. I thought it was a hunter. I thought it was a hunter's bugle. Anyways, he was massive. He had like 20 cows with him and he just kicked a satellite bull off and it was great. This is my first elk, okay? Um, and I got to experience that with my middle son, Jeremiah, and it was really a blast. But if you like the video, please do uh, like it and leave some comments behind. And if so inclined, please subscribe to the channel. It's not only hunting, but you can look there on the channel and the different playlists. Uh, we do things about uh, subsistence farming, off-grid living, all that kind of stuff. So if that's the kind of thing you like, you'll like it here. Anyways, enjoy the hunt. <laughs> well, hey, hey, we're uh, we're in Wabo, Montana, and uh, just stopped by the Cenex. Got my double points on my Cabela's card. Anyhow, but uh, yeah, a little out of the way town. I go in there, and they've got this uh, Farmer Brothers coffee, and I'm just not a fan of Farmer Brothers coffee. Mm. Turns out they got a coffee shop in Wabo, so we're gonna go hit the coffee shop in Wabo, Montana. This town is so small, I can't believe they got a coffee shop, but a real coffee shop. Foo foo drinks and everything. Anyhow, here we go. On to the coffee shop. Here it is, Wibo, Montana. And they have a coffee shop. Check this out. It's a hardware store. Yeah, it's in the hardware store. There's no signage for it. You have to talk to people. You got to know people in this town. Look at this. She's going to make me. I decided why not? I'm at a coffee shop. We're going with a mocha. Where'd he go? I can strain, find him with my sword. Did he go over the hill or something? I don't think he would have done that. Where'd he go? Hey. Is that daddy? Where'd he go? I mean. Oh, I'm still looking. I'm, I'm scoped right on them, I should say. I don't see him. He just disappeared. Oh, I see him. Where? He's at the way back. Been around. I think he's coming towards there him. There he is. Yep, running towards him. Is he bugling? I don't hear him. Looks like he is. Think we should try and call him closer? <laughs> he's just sniffing the air. Yeah. That is guy. What do you think he'd do if he heard his cow call? Could I try? Totally. Let's see how he responds anyways. My green one. Well, you got him looking. All right, here we are, Jeremiah. We're headed down the mountain. Jeremiah's writing the list. Bad weather moving in. We're gonna get some stuff to keep us a little warmer. It's getting down into the 20s apparently at night. Possibility of snow, freezing rain. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be epic. The elk are gonna be moving, Jeremiah. And we have found them and we're predators. So what are we gonna do? Kill and eat. Kill and eat. All right, hey, hey. More fun to the trip. Okay, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, is this fun? Oh, this is like the highlight of the trip. So we're going fast, right? Uh -huh. Not slow. Ah, uh, star pattern. Star pattern, see? Sun 
Everyone knows what's going on. Okay, so we tighten, 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 and then this tighten. I'm gonna make sure. All right, that's it. We're good to go. So, wow, huh, Jeremiah? It's just more fun. More adventures. There was actually not just one, but two flat tires. We're stuck on the side of the road. We run down to the ranch, meet a great guy. Uh, he, he ends up borrowing us, running us up there with a, a portable air tank, a patch kit. We get the thing patched, we get back, but uh, it must have been a rock hole and the hole was too big. I put a second plug in. We're driving to town now, hopefully we're gonna make it. And uh, we might have to just buy some new tires. Anyways, it's what it is. It's more of an adventure, right, Jeremiah? Yep. Great guy though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we got two used tires here in White Sulphur Springs at the Conoco. The weather's moving in, so we stopped over there at the Twin Sisters Trading Company, picked up a puffy blanket and a little heater, and uh, we're headed back to the mountains as soon as we get these tires on. So these are used, so I got a reasonable buy on them. We had, we had, okay, we found the elk. That's, that's the thing. We found the elk and we were on a herd. There was at least 20 animals in the herd with a massive, I mean, huge, huge, huge <laughs> bull. Okay. He was awesome. And he kicked a satellite bull out. Um, and then, uh, they, they went off though, his cows led him astray. He was responding to the calls, he bugled back. We were doing uh, cow-calf calls. We didn't get the decoy up. I don't know, we were pretty excited and it was kind of, I don't know, we weren't really fully prepared. I didn't even think it was an actual elk. I thought it was a hunter bugling. So we kind of got caught in the open. It was a thing, but the bottom line is it was still really cool and we saw him. And then we went back and we heard another elk bugle and then we called him and we got him talking to us and we got well within 100 yards we don't know because we couldn't see because it was so thick so thick but um he was right there right jeremiah i mean he was like he was right there i mean there's all these little evergreens though we couldn't yeah it was crazy and then the wind was kind of swirling i think he probably winded us he just left so that was that but then we came out discouraged another hunter out of our area <laughs> really low
loving that. And then um, just our presence discouraged him. He turned around and left. So we're going to take a nap, and then we're going to get uh, outfitted for tonight. And we think those elk are going to be back in the same general vicinity. And we're going to go, uh, I, I think we're going to get one. What do you think? Thumbs up, Jeremiah. We're living the dream. Good weather. Yeah. All right. We'll keep working this line and we'll kind of move up. We might see something down at the creek. All right, uh, Jeremiah and I are pretty excited. We just saw, he was big. Yeah. He was big. <laughs> and uh, we were just fortunate. I actually had to run back to the tent, grab my phone, um, because we had uh, marked another animal when we came back last night at 11 o'clock, go to the same area. So we think that that's where they're bedding and they've chosen a spot between two roads you know, that it probably is not getting hunted at all. They're, they're cagey critters. Anyways, we're gonna throw on some face paint and all that stuff, man makeup as it were, and, and uh, get ready. Okay, we're excited. We've got two bulls bugling up the drainage. We're going after them. It sounds like they're moving away from us though. I did a uh, locate bugle and one bugle back and now these two are going at it. I don't know, this is fun, but they're all ways off yet. What busted us? What? Something took off, something busted us.
sound fast or anything, but there were branches breaking over there, but they were going that way. Trying to get one of us. You need to be calling your Julie so you can stop me. I tapped you on the elbow. Oh, you're going to tap harder. That's so important here. What did you think of all that? It's pretty wild. Is <laughs> that bulls everywhere? I mean, they were everywhere. We couldn't we couldn't close the distance. The one, I think it was the herd bull. He sounded big to me. He had all these bugling his brains out, and he would answer me. And he just wouldn't come in. We found a wallow over here in the wallow. I mean, right away we kicked something off there. We didn't know it was there. But we're learning. We're learning. We're learning the area. We're learning some stuff, aren't we? So I don't know. I guess maybe I should have gotten in harder after that bull. We could smell them. I mean, we were close enough. We could smell them. We couldn't see them. We could hear them. We could smell them. But they were always just ahead of us. Oh well. It was still cool. We're gonna get one, right, Jeremiah? <laughs>
Jeremiah. I think this is pretty great. Did you think this would happen? Not this way. I mean, I thought it might happen tonight, but not like this. I mean, he's just like... He was just there at the wall. I just got taken a shot at a squirrel. And we took a, like two steps forward and we are like... <laughs> They're big animals, man. Yeah. So much bigger than a deer, it's crazy. Get this thing all cut up. Here, hold this up. Stretch this out for me here. Oh no, we went dark. Is that bad? No, no. Okay. It's just, it does that to save that. So let's get a real knife. Let's get a half summer knife, huh? Oh yeah. The real deal, as some might say. Did you hear the elk screaming? No. Yeah, up the hill. There we go. Slap a tag on Jeremiah. This is what it's all about, you know, the legal eagles. Check it out, check it out. Look at all our lovely meat. Mm -hmm. ah. Look at that, it's spread out all over. There's our elk carcass. We gotta get that out of here. We got the tenderloins, we got it all. Jeremiah, you're awesome. You did great work tonight. Wow, so here we go. We gotta go up there. It's a, it's a grade, but uh, we're loving it. We're gonna try and get this all out tonight. What time is it, Jeremiah? Uh, I wonder. I bet.
bed at something like uh, 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. You did pretty good, huh? <sighs> they all cut up and bagged up and everything. All right, let's go. We're gonna... There he goes. Mighty man of the mountain. Packing out. All right, just okay. <laughs> there it is. You got in there now. Look at that. What have we done, Jeremiah? Um, we pack out all the elk. We have. There's a, look at your face. is just sweating, man. This is awesome. I mean, this is hard work. What time is it? It's like midnight or something. Yeah. Yeah, but we got it done. All right. Successful hunt. We're loving it. There he is. Signing off. <laughs>